What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys been out the building shit. Believe in what God gave you. Taking on new projects. Learning new skills. Building, fixing, creating, doing art. Whatever your strengths are. Whatever your blessings are. Exercise them, guys. Put them to use. Pass them on to this world. So anyways. If you like hearing that kind of message, hit like and subscribe. So today I'm going to be working on the apocalypse bug. And, uh... Continuing on the predator swap. So first, we put the motor mounting plate or whatever on the transmission. Then we set up our drag shaft and, and you know, that's all, all good. Now it's time to head on outside and mount the motor. Alright YouTube, so next step of this predator swapped uh, VW Baja bug. It's kind of an apocalypse bug um is mounting the motor so i ordered up this little plate yes i could have made one but i didn't have no scrap metal you know thick enough and whatnot i was getting out of that uh little blue one but it just wasn't thick enough so i ended up just buying one figured it came with the bolts it was it was the right size it was ready to go so it was easier um but I've been holding it up here and trying to figure out, you know, where I want my motor. And I figured out that I need my front mounts just about there or maybe even just a little bit further. And I need these outside ones just inside of this or maybe out a little bit further. So looking at where the chain is going to be and where my sprocket is, I don't really want to support that way. So I think is what I've come up with. Is welding that bar to the bottom of this plate and setting it on top of there so then my next my next uh, piece that would need supported is something out this way so what I did is I set this on here and then I found something the right uh, height to be equal and, uh, and that happened to be this wrench and I wish that I could use the wrench because I brought this wrench up here to use on this project, which it probably will end up on the project. But uh, it's not long enough to go this way and still be able to see some wrench on this end. So I don't really want to waste it um, with it not being visible is my point. I'll probably end up using it maybe somewhere out here as a, as a support, you know. But uh, so is what I did end up finding though it's the same height as this and uh, I'm gonna come from here and I'll be able to weld onto there as well and uh, so I'm gonna just come out here and I'm gonna cut this pretty jagged and ugly and uh, so that it's kind of a spike back here towards the back of the car so I'm gonna get to that guys so my first two orders of business were to tack that brace that I decided on to the bottom of my motor plate and then I tacked this which I cut nice and sharp up here right so now I should be able to set these together and I should have left enough room right here that my bolts are still going to be able to adjust out here I left enough room here for my bolts so I should be good and the reason why I came back this way instead of going over that way it was to leave plenty of room for a chain right here and in case I didn't want to also like go right here and then uh, you know be close to the chain but then change the sprocket size later because I left plenty of room to you know change my sprocket size I didn't want to run into issues with that later so I, I feel like this mounting method was the best and I'm still going to triangulate and strengthen so alrighty guys so now as you see it sits on that it rests on that I can triangulate this I can triangulate this and uh, it should be plenty strong but now I've got to uh, you know line up this get it you know perfectly straight with my uh sprocket 
so that I don't have chain issues. So I'm going to start working on that and getting this uh, tacked up and welded. Oh, and that goes over a little bit further too to give myself full adjustment of those bolts. Alrighty guys. So I bought this uh, sprocket cheap online. Um, it, it, it's just not tight enough on my on my shaft. It's supposed to be three quarters. It's not tight enough. It doesn't even got a keyway. Um, I think I messed up buying this. I think I'm gonna have to buy a different one because it's just kind of wobbling, and I don't I don't feel confident enough in this in place with this wiggling and thinking that I've got it squared up. So I, I think I'm gonna wait. I could just measure equal amounts from here to here. I think, but. Uh, I, so from when I first got that sprocket and I realized that it was freewheel, I seen there was no uh, no keyway and stuff. I felt that it was pretty chintzy and I wanted a different one kind of. But then once I seen that it was wiggling on the shaft, I just ordered this one. Alright YouTube, so I ended up getting it squared up. Um, got it tacked. I ended up using the wrench right there. I think it looks really good. Um, I'm going to do another diagonal back this way, I think. Uh, but overall, I'm really liking it. Um, it look, it's looking really rat rotty and, and, you know, hacked together and apocalyptic. And Yeah, I'm liking it. I'll probably sharpen this piece up, so, you know, with my angle grinder. Uh... Yeah, now to set the motor on there. Let's check it out, guys. All right, guys. Let's get that Predator set on there and check it out. Is this the first time setting the Predator on our mount? Let's see how we did with our measurements and stuff. I'm liking the place in it. Definitely liking that place, guys. Got full adjustability on my belt, plenty of clearance. I'm liking it. Yep, I'm liking that. I'm I'm gonna call that one a success, guys. So I took it off there and I welded it up. As best as I could all the way around what I could reach and stuff um, <laughs> I'm seeing right now though I could have gotten there and there probably I guess I didn't get them the right angles I didn't completely weld on the top plate because I want to be able to shift it around on my framework but uh yeah forgot to uh, record when I had it off and uh, was doing it my welds aren't the best I'm you know still learning just kind of taught myself a couple years ago and uh, well, it's pretty empowering the amount of things that I, you're able to do by learning to weld such as this. So, anyways, guys, uh, I'm gonna let you guys go. Oh, and I put another little brace on that side, but uh, I'm gonna let you guys go for now. But uh, now I got the motor mount mounted, I'm gonna get a different uh, sprocket and so I can get this all connected up. And then I've got to figure out how to get my throttle cable connected and uh. Then I gotta mount seats in here, and I'll probably put a little bit of a floor up there. So, hit like and subscribe, guys. Till next time, keep building shit. Alrighty, guys. So, there's the mounting, uh, the motor mounting plate on the back of this apocalypse bug, little Baja bug. Um, I didn't finish weld the actual motor mounting plate. I just tacked it in place so that I can make sure that my chain is running good and, and it's all lined up you know I could you know just cut those little tacks and just twist it on the actual framework that I built so uh, stay tuned for that um, the new sprocket that I ordered should be here Tuesday it said so that's just a few more days um, mistake oh well things happen but uh, hit like and subscribe guys and uh, till next time, believe in what God gave you. Keep on building shit.